Hi everyone. I am going to take you to a little trip down to the pond. It's supposed to be back behind us somewhere. So let's go see if we can find it. Okay. Now I didn't find a trail here. around my campsite that I could see. I know it's over here on the right hand side. Somebody mentioned it in a review. Well, that's where the mosquitoes came from. This is a nice campsite too. The problem with this one is yeah, I really like this campsite. That's nice too. But the problem with it is the reason why I didn't want it. So this is a pretty good drop down from where the van would be parked there. And I'm constantly getting in and out of the van. And uh, yeah, that would have been a lot more exercise than I would have wanted to do. So um, this kind of looks like a trail over here. See where it leads. So yeah, there is a there's a little pond back here. And dragonflies all over the place. Well, this is nice. Yeah. This is pretty. So I wanted to tell you guys that one of my favorite campsites so far, of course this appears to be one of my favorites right now, but the other one I liked a lot, a whole lot, and I want to go back to many more times, is the one called Silo Access. It was uh, on the Mississippi River. I just really loved being there. It was something about the river was just really mesmerizing and you, I mean it could pull the van right up to it and just sit there and it was just there was just something about it that I was just so relaxed um, now I live in a river now I live a little over a mile from the Missouri River so I know how it can get in the summertime and <laughs> the heat and the mosquitoes and everything like that. So I bet you that place on the Mississippi is just pretty much not a spot I want to go to in the heat of the summer. Actually, I live where the two rivers come together in the general area. So when there was flooding a couple years ago, it took me forever to get to work. First I had to bypass the Missouri River flood and then down the highway I had to bypass the Mississippi River flooding. It was it was weird. It was like I would drive down the highway and both sides of the highway there was water all the way up to the road. It was kind of weird. But and that river had to have come a few miles to to get to that point on the highway. But um, yeah, so I'm used to living around the river and I'm going to stay clear of it this summer because it's going to be mosquito heaven there. But I'd like to go back in like the uh, late fall, maybe in the winter and uh, when the weather isn't too bad. And I just really love that spot. And I like it here. Now there's another place. Um, it might be a trail that leads back up to my site, but I'm going to stick to this one. Now there is another place I want to go to. It's down pretty far south in Missouri, almost to Arkansas, and it's on a lake. And what it was at one time was an RV, like paid parking, but from what I read, I don't know where I even read it, um, they had some kind of plumbing problem or something. 
so they just closed it down as a you know a pay site and they just uh, opened it as a boondocking free site and as there's no amenities there though I th do think they have trash a dumpster or something but that was nice of them so it's patrolled and everything and and uh, I, I want to go there. It sounds, it's on a lake and there's 20 to 30 campsites and they're very nice. And uh, everybody raves about how nice it is. It is off a of highway, so you get a little highway noise, but I'm getting that here. Not off a of highway, but there's a, little, there's a road that runs over here. And every once in a while, uh, um, it's almost like a logging road or something. Every once in a while, some big heavy machinery will come down, and that's okay. It's not constant. But I would like to try the um, the one there, the lake down there. It's a town called El Snor, El Snor, something like that. Pretty close to Arkansas. Well, we're back. It's all the hiking I'm doing today. Well, anyway, thank you for dropping by. I hope you all having a nice day. And I will try to get that fan tour. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.